good morning, day five on this third vlog series here in Walt Disney World. Last night I was at uh, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. Um, had an awesome, awesome time. Some really cool things going on there. Um, some different things uh, that were new to me because it was my first time. So really, really enjoyed it. So hopefully you enjoyed that video. Um, today, day five, I'm going to do something a little bit different that I've done before. So I'm not going to go all out theme park. What I want to do is I want to get the bus from the resort just now over to Magic Kingdom. I want to get the boat out to Tricircle D Ranch and go and have a look at the horses again. Then come back to Magic Kingdom. Then possibly get a bus from there to Animal Kingdom Lodge. I've stayed at Animal Kingdom Lodge a few times. I haven't done videos on that. That was before I done um, it was on YouTube. Um, and just check out the Animal Kingdom Lodge. See how it goes. And then, if I have time, I might go into Animal Kingdom theme park and then go back, come back to my resort. So that's my kind of thought process. I want to kind of go on the boat, cause it's great going over uh, from Magic Kingdom on the boat over to uh, Wilderness um, Lodge. <laughs> it was a late, it was a very late night last night. Um, didn't get back into my room until 1am, so I am tired. So yeah, try me today for something a little bit different and Nice and relaxed. I'm trying to kind of wind down but still enjoy myself because uh, today's Saturday and Monday I fly home. Monday night, late Monday night, I fly back home. So I'm trying to wind down a little bit and still see things and do different things. Uh, but yeah, that's the plan. So come and join me today, day five. Let's go and see some horses and some animals and Animal Kingdom Lodge, all that kind of stuff. So let's go. A quick weather check. Ooh, it's a bit gloomy, but that can change within the minute. So, yeah, let's head on today's adventure. So the sun is back out. Shades are on. Helicopter going by. What's going on? So yeah, it's actually Fort Wilderness. Uh, not Wilderness Lodge, Fort Wilderness, I need to get the bus to. Um, so that's from Magic Kingdom, I'm going to get the bus to Magic Kingdom from here. Then I'm going to get the boat to Fort, Wild Fort Wilderness. And then uh, go to Tri Circle D Ranch. I just like the trip over on that boat. So good. So just relaxing. And you get to see different things as well. So that's the plan. Disney's Fort Wilderness campground. Oh, there's a Mario. Look at the time in there. Look at Mario. Here we go. How are you? Welcome. 
welcome aboard. Just watch your step. Oh, yes, I am going to sit in the front in the sun. Welcome aboard. For your safety, please keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside our boat at all times and supervise your children. Now relax and enjoy your cruise, and we'll have you at your port of call in just a few minutes. Thanks for sailing with us. You can see the train has stopped at Main Street. front of a boat looks like. This is not the back. Oh, once the boat started moving, a bit of a breeze. But you can sit in the back in the shade. But I'm sitting in the, the sun. But what it is, it's not going to be a long journey over so Make the most of it. Don't often get to see the sun. So, or enjoy the sun. So, yeah. A few minutes sitting here in the sun. Soaking up the vitamin D the right way, huh? Yeah. You got to. There you go. How cool is that? Run into Mini, got a selfie with Mini. Yeah, I just like random stuff like that, it's really cool. Um, I am going to try and explain my very best how to get to try Suckle D Ranch. Now, I've came from way down there off the boat. I'm next to the trading settlement trading post right here. And you've got the play park there. That gives you some bearings. I'm going to go past the play park and then I'm going to take a left. So towards the kind of the buses where the buses leave, or well, stop and leave, to go to the parks. So if you aim to be at Pioneer Hall and just walk straight forward like I'm doing just now, you'll be on the right track. So yeah, walking down this path, they also have other events. Oh, hello. Hey. <laughs> Other events are carriage rides, uh, wagon rides. Not badly priced to be fair for an experience in this environment. So let's head down towards the buses, which are here. They come and go. And then cross the road and then go into Tri Circle D Ranch. So I have been here earlier on this year. 
but I like planning these kind of days in because it just splits the, the days up and last night was a late even though I had a long lie, it was still a long day um, and rather than just maybe sitting at a pool or something just doing something like this, nice and relaxed and still being within uh, Disney and seeing different things and doing different things, keep moving because there you go, I met Minnie wouldn't have met Minnie if I never uh, came here, so yeah just kind of spontaneous and I like this resort, I love all the resorts, Disney resorts, they've all got their thing um, all their uniqueness of course, but this is where I am now the bus coming in I'm going to cross the road here and there is Tricircle D Ranch this is where the horses are kept the, the working horses around Walt Disney World so the ones at the carriages for example at Magic Kingdom <coughs> Magic Kingdom sorry <laughs> and elsewhere so let's make sure it's safe let's head over and there is the opening hours 10am to 5pm where you can it's free to come in there's no charge you can come in and say hello to the horses or you can get a pony ride I believe around the little track not for me of course I'm too big unfortunately and right here we have Samson Very well looked after. Look at Zilly as well. Zilly, they're all very big horses, but look at the size of these horses. <laughs> He's popped his head out. Samson. <laughs> He's just had a, having a look. Hey, Samson. Hello. <laughs> and here, you have Disney and horses, so a lot of information about Walt Disney World, Disney. Well, Walt Disney World, well, Walt Disney loved his horses. So a lot of historic photos here, a lot of information. We'll actually have a look at that carriage as well. That carriage is in here. Here's some information all the way from Scotland. The Clydesdale, of course. France. And the Belgian, from Belgium. So it's so warm, my camera keeps overheating. So I need to kind of turn the camera off and let it cool down a bit. That's how warm it is. So yeah, I'm just going to float around and yeah, I'll bring you some clips of this amazing place. And if you want to go on a pony ride, this is the times and prices. It's pretty good. And here are the ponies. You've got Carrot, Leo and Vader. This is where you get mounted if you're going to go on the pony ride. And then you go around the little track all the way around. And back again. You can go around once or twice. Yeah. You got Zilla. Thanks a bit to get a little shower. Keep cool. Our, our carriages tonight. Ooh. 
This is all of the harnesses in here, all the different sizes and different types of harness. Still don't know what's in that magic box from my last visit. This is where they get changed and get ready. And there's more horses down there, if you can see one more down there that we cannot get access to. And here we can have a listen to the Cali up. Hopefully my camera doesn't die. Uh -huh. so you hear the music it's playing. see this bit of history right there. Over here we have Cheeto who was out a moment ago doing pony rides. Here is Lady and Pixie. Don't think I seen them the last time I was here. You see them? That was really cool, so it's coming at four, half past two just now. Always good to be at tri Tricycle Deer Ranch. Still tired from yesterday. But I'm just going to leave just now, going to explore a bit of Fort Wilderness, maybe get a drink or something, I get a snack, and then see what else I got to. Maybe go to Animal Kingdom Lodge, I want to go back to that resort just to walk about the resort. There's something about that resort that I just love. Uh, so go back there uh, and then, well, get the boat. Go back to Magic Kingdom, then get the bus to Animal Kingdom, lodge, and then hopefully, maybe go back, well, go to Animal Kingdom Park, theme park. So, another great visit to Tricircle D Ranch. So, I got this ice dessert kind of thing. I think it's like ice cream but mainly ice, not cream. So it's like an ice dessert. So I got a cherry flavour. I got it from one of the vans that are over there. I've got a few vans all sitting there. So I'm gonna sit and enjoy this, cool myself down, and have a drink, and then get the boat back to Magic Kingdom. So here we go. I think it is just pure ice. That is really good, especially on a day like this when it's really warm. Big bit from the top. Ooh, take my face away. I don't know why it's not focusing. Anyway, I'm going to sit and enjoy this. Better get the glasses back on. Always enjoy stopping by Fort Wilderness. One day I will hire a golf buggy take a little trip round but now I'm gonna get the boat and head back to Magic Kingdom so I'm gonna get the boat back to Magic Kingdom then straight onto a bus and go to Animal Kingdom Lodge and have a look around just look at this. You do really think or feel like you're in the wilderness. Well I do anyway and I don't know they create this disconnect, this disconnection as in Disney or Disney World, this disconnect from the theme park because you wouldn't think there's a theme park anywhere near here. And that's what I enjoy about Walt Disney World, is, is the theming but also the kind of authenticity, the, the, the effort they put in to make that happen, so yeah Just so relaxing 
and then I can see a boat coming this way. It's not long now, and we can get on our way and see some animals, see some more animals. It was good to see the horses and the ponies again. I can see some zebra in the distance there. Right at the centre of the screen there. One day I would love to do the private safari where you get to ride through. The zebra just came round the corner. Must have knew I was here. Another one just there. So that was really cool to get out, have a look at the animals. I'm gonna have a quick look inside, and then I'm gonna jump on a bus and go to the Animal Kingdom theme park. So let's get inside. It was great to be back. to get some water. Very, very warm. Important to... Oh, is that a bus? No. Important to keep hydrated. Kingdom. We've got a few hours, a 
I think it was three hours maybe to spend here. I'm not sure. I think it, I think it closes at eight o'clock, so if it does, it'll be three hours. Come on in. With you actually in the line. Let's go on the safari. Everybody, friends, how's it going? So, welcome aboard. We stand in line making out with the airport. And here at Haram, maybe I'll say it's Wednesday, which does mean let's go. Jumbo friends, my name is Noah. I'm a safari guide today to the Harambe Wildlife Reserve. When I ask you, please remain seated. Keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the truck at all times. That is due to their skeletal structure, as well as a prehensile tongue of the grab onto their food. But the bongo, here on the left, they are nicknamed the ghosts of the forest due to how rarely they are seen, how they can hide in the shadows. Both the male and the female bongo have horns that are swept backward, allowing them to push the bushes without getting tangled. But just like that Okapi's tongue, it is also a prehensile, allowing the black rhino to grab out of their food as well. And they can weigh close to 3,000 pounds. A group of hippos is known as a bloat. And they can hold their breath for up to eight minutes. Now this is incredibly helpful. As well, they can swim. They would rather walk along the riverbed instead. Now, crocodiles. Their large horns, from tip to tip, can reach a length of over six feet. Now, they're not as heavy as they may look, as those horns actually have a more honeycomb, sponge-like structure. That will allow their young, that will allow their blood to be pumped with the horn, get cooled off, and then sent throughout the rest of the body. They have a more serrated edge to them. Unlike the articulated giraffe, it's very clean lines in a geometric spotted pattern. In this Tower of Maasai giraffe, they only need 30 minutes of sleep a day. Of which they do not need to do consecutively. It is really and with their long legs, they would usually prefer to do this standing up. In fact, they do a lot of things standing up, which includes giving birth. Unlike the black rhino, it's very pointed upper lip, the white rhino's upper lip is flat and wide, which makes it perfect for the grasses that they graze. But they're also much larger than the black rhino. These white rhinos can weigh close to 5,000 pounds in fully grown. They got cheetah. Over there on the left of the tree line, there is a cheetah. I think there's actually another one lying down behind it. Again, tied with the spring bot, being one of the fast animals with four legs. They can run close to 60 miles per hour in as little as three seconds. Predators. And they are known for their dairy products they help produce, like their milk and cheese. But they're also excellent climbers, as I was demonstrating. And excellent weeders, as they help both the wardens and the village out in their gardens. Watch your head and watch your steps throughout the vehicle. And have a great rest for evening. So that was pretty cool. Managed to do that walk on basically. It wasn't even 10 minute wait, it was a walk on. And managed to see a few animals. Now, apparently, this is supposed to line up with the mountains behind. See it? I was getting hit by a leaf. 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 Right in the face. Um, yeah, see it? Line how it lines up with the mountain. Right, let's see what I can go up to. I'm doing it. I am going on Everest. Oh, 
so enjoy it. so good to go on. It's that good and the queue is that low. I'm going to go back on it myself so I'm going to put the camera away. I'm going to go enjoy another ride of that. I'm going to go straight back on so I'll see you all soon. Two times in close proximity. That was awesome. I could go back on it again. Come out here. <laughs> I checked out the dinosaur ride and it was 25 minutes away, so I don't want to wait 25 minutes, even though it won't be, but it will be maybe half that. So I'm going to go to Pandora, see what's going on. Now entering the Valley of Moara, Pandora. So, Navi River journey, journey, <laughs> journey. It is uh, 80 minutes. The play of passage is 70 minutes. I don't know whether to believe that or not, but I'm not going to stand in a queue that says 80 minutes for a Nav Navi River journey. I have been on it before, so I have got a video earlier. I'm going to continue on my adventure. See what I can get up to before the park closes. Let's see if we can see any otters in the grotto. So I couldn't see them inside the grotto because I believe they're lying up here. So if you can just see them, pretty hard to make out, but lying up upside down or to the side, you can see them. But one, two, three. All snoozing. So I'm just gonna going th well, I'm, I am going through the maybe a little nature trail here next to the otter reserve but I might get on a few rides still, a ride before leaving the park, another ride I'll go walk through this nature trail first see what we can find what we can see. I'm just enjoying walking, taking my time. I actually got on Everest 
straight away, twice, walk on. And just now walk under a waterfall, under the tree of life in the animal kingdom. So it just shows you, even at this time of night, with the uh, Pandora, with the rides, yeah, still a long, long time to wait. Maybe they're not accurate, but I'm not going to risk it this time where I can just relax and enjoy a little stroll. all the way to try and get on Dinosaur and the ride went down. Oh, that was a long walk. <laughs> well, I have walked and walked and walked. I just decided to take a, a seat, get a drink. What time are we on just now? It is... 5 to 7. A lot of the rides are kind of like, some are shut, some are closed. Some are not working, don't really know what's going on, but I'm back at Everest just now, just at this area just now, but I think the rain was going to come, but I don't know what's going on, it might still come. But I'm just going to chill and relax for five, ten minutes, see if anything opens back up again. I think I'm going to call it a day here in Animal Kingdom. Pretty much everything's like a long queue or closed. I'm not going to sit around and just wait. However, this is the last time I'll be able to come to Animal Kingdom on this trip. So, it's a goodbye for now. I hope in the future I will see you again. As in, I'm talking to the tree of life. So, I'm going to leave the park and head back to the resort. Ah, uh, Animal Kingdom, I will see you. Don't know when I'll see you. Who knows? Who knows when I'm going to see you again. Very quick bus journey. I think Animal Kingdom must be the closest uh, park to All Star Sports. Right, let's get inside the room. Another day, another vlog over. Whoop, another taking the bag off through the camera. Um, yeah, I wanted to do something different. I have done that kind of trip before, that thing before. It's warm out there. Um, and I enjoy, I enjoy like different modes of transport. So I've done the, the park. Yeah, people uh, heard noises there. Um, uh, yeah, I, I like doing uh, like the monorails. And, uh, so I've done, done the park, done the resort hopping uh, last week with the uh, monorail going to Floridian and, and uh, Contemporary and whatnot and stopped off at the Polynesian. But yeah, um, I don't, that'd be my card. Uh, leave it, leave it, I'll leave it. What I will do is take my shoes off. Uh, what am I saying? Yeah, I, I like doing things like that, just kind of split it up. I think you just know that anyway, but if you've just followed me for a while now. If you haven't followed me for a while and it's your first time watching, Thank you for watching all the way through. Hit subscribe. But yeah, it's 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 just something different for me to kind of split up. Getting the boat, 
going across the water and seeing the tricycle. It's just those things are different to do. And uh, there's more more things like that, that that I want to do as well. And yeah, just going to go and see. Just I could spend a day going round different resorts. I really could. Just um, just doing that alone. And with the uh, park hop now as well. After two p.m., uh, you can obviously now park hop as well. So yeah, that's my day. It's been good to go back to Tricycle D Ranch. Good to get back on the boats again. Good trip to get back out to Animal Kingdom Lodge, just to have a look at that lobby again and be in that, that hotel, fantastic hotel, love it. Uh, is it my favourite hotel? Oh, possibly, I don't know. Um, I'd have to compare a lot of things for it, because um, you can only get the bus uh, to the, there and back to the parks. That's the only mode of transport. Other hotels you've got, like buses and boats and Skyliner and uh, whatnot. But yeah, and I got back to Animal Kingdom uh, theme park, got on the safari, which was a walk-on, got onto Exposition Everest twice, two walk-ons, using the single rider queue, probably a walk-on anyway as well with the, the normal queue, it was a 15 minute wait from what I remember. Then things started getting kind of shut down and other rides going, but I wasn't waiting at 80 minutes, I think it went up again, or, or maybe 10 minutes less actually, I think it was for river, uh, Navi and River Journey in Pandora. There's no point in wasting my time standing in a queue for that long and then the park closes and then you're out and that's it done. Um, so, yeah, I've been on it before. I'm not going to wait 70 two minutes to go on it. Uh, I'm glad that I got on um, the... I went blank again. What have I been on? <laughs> I forgot what I went on. Um, flight of passage. That's how tired I'm getting because it's been non stop. This, this, this vacation, this holiday has been great. Uh, I'm starting to kind of don't know, take it easy a little bit, even though tomorrow is going to be an awesome day. Gonna, yeah, gonna be a really, really good day tomorrow. I don't know when I'm going to be back in Orlando. That's me being honest. I know sometimes I give away some secrets, some clues. But I genuinely don't know when I'm going to be back in Florida, Orlando. Hopefully not too long. I need to be back soon for another cruise. What do you think? The cruise. I love to cruise. I'm, I'm hooked. I'm absolutely 100% hooked uh, to a Disney cruise. Um, and that was me going solo, going myself. And it was absolutely awesome. Fantastic time. Met some amazing people. Uh, so yeah, I'll be definitely back on a cruise. Um, watch this space. Watch this sea. I'll be back in the cruise. Yeah, that's it. So, rather than waffling on all, all, all too long, join me tomorrow, my final full day here in Florida before I fly home on Monday. Uh, I'll be vlogging tomorrow and vlogging the flight ho uh, travel home day as well. So, hit subscribe if you want to follow my journey. I've got so much more to come this year as well. A lot more to come this year. Um, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for watching previous videos. Thank you for subscribing. Join the community. And I will see you all the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.